Hi friends, it's Katie J from Hope on High. It seems like it's been a really, really long time since I've talked to all of you, and it's 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 been really crazy here. We know um, if you watched my video um, a while back, and I talked about war and January 15, 2022, and uh, it talked. I had a dream about war coming location and dates weren't there but it had like three three specific lines and so um as we have seen um russia and ukraine invade i, I think tensions are high but you know um today's video is just i'm going to bring you some other things that i've had some um, dreams and visions on since that and and also just to um talk to everybody today it's been a while so if I, if I start off, I think that the last video I had sent out was about putting on the whole armor of God and how important it is for us to go and put on our armor every day before we head out the door and into this world of, of things that are, that are happening. Um, with that being said, it's the reason that I do these videos at all is for the Lord and being obedient and to call those or give any information to those that are not Christ followers have not accepted Christ as their Lord to give you the opportunity to think about the times are coming to where that door will be closed and you will have to go through the tribulation which is pretty hard but anyway <clears throat> excuse me it's spring <laughs> almost spring so I've got a little bit of stuff going on but anyway um back to the whole purpose the whole purpose is um, the discussion I had this week um, with my husband is that we see these things happening and then we say, what are we supposed to do? And we can't control them. We know that. The Lord told us these things were coming. We should believe in what he says and, and do what he says. He tells us not to fear. You know, these things have to happen before he returns. But also, right now, what do we do? What? How do we talk to people about the Lord? How do we spread the word and and that's part of our uh growth group that's going to start back up at, as my husband will lead that uh, with our wonderful group and see what we can do is uh, to outreach to talk to those that, who haven't accepted christ as their lord and savior because he's the only way uh, to, for salvation so if not, if you are watching this and you're not a christian and you have not made a decision to follow Christ, I urge you to do that. I urge you to find a good church, to pray, um, to be baptized, and be ready because uh, things are getting, uh, as we call birth pains, they're, they're, they're starting. And I don't think this will be, I think it's just going to keep escalating. So if you're not a Christ follower, please Please accept Christ as your Lord and Savior and accept it in your heart today. Uh, and uh, we all want to see you in heaven with the rest of us. But anyway, back to my first point. The 17th of February, 2022, I had a, a dream and it had, I don't know if this may be backwards. I'm not sure. But I always try to show you dates and things that are going on because... Um, I don't want anyone to be led astray, and I don't want to come off as some things that, oh, well, sure, you can say that now after all the news, but I did this. That's why I want to show the date. But the date, uh, like I said, was 17 February 22, and it was a missile. And it was like a, you know, like a, a military missile. It had down the, 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 straight down it said Capricorn 2, like the Roman numeral 2. And there was a number 402.22. And um, those numbers through research uh, and with some of my uh, fellow Christians, is, is it's, a, it's naming an angel. So uh, in my earlier video, I told you that there was a divine war happening. So there's, on earth we will see the battles and as humans, but there's also a battle going on between good and evil right now. And, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see it. It's just like people's minds, I don't know the things that they're thinking and doing and saying, uh, you know, they're not, um, they're not on par with, with, with what the Bible says, at least those that are there on the 
you know, so I, anyway, I forgot to, my clock, I forgot to do that one. But anyway, um, so back to here, the 24th of February, 2022, I had a, um, it was a quick vision. It wasn't really a dream that tied anything together, but it basically showed Chinese warriors. Uh, old timey. I don't know if you've ever watched the History Channel, where they had all the soldiers that are buried underneath, and they're like clay. I guess they're made out of clay, and they're just lined up and lined up and lined up. Well, this one had a snapshot of that, and and so I was like uh, thinking, okay, well. What is this about? And the word time came up. So between 17 February and 24 February, I had the Capricorn missile with the number and also the Chinese warriors. And when I did look up um, Capricorn, because I wasn't sure what Capricorn was, was it, what, was it a, um, you know, the, the, the Capricorn, you know, the Cancer and the, the invisible uh, lines across the, the, the globe is it actually a number of a missile uh, those things are still not have not come to pass um, or is it a date and with that being said that would mean it was April 2nd 2022 so that's one of the reasons why I like to put these videos out because I like to try to get ahead of the news uh, obviously I failed on some of that here but um, so like I said, back in January, I had the dream about the three wars we see now with Russia and Ukraine. I think China is next. Um, we, and this was back um, about the three wars back in January, but then the Chinese warriors, the 24th of February. And then this catapult and stuff, also 17th of February. So the dates are, nothing's happened yet, obviously, but I think there's an indication uh, by what I see here of an, another escalation somewhere and I tr and I always try to get confirmation like you know these wars and so when the war broke out between Russia and Ukraine I said okay that's another confirmation of my January dream and as as of uh, 2 March 2022 I had the dream about um, a church and so today's the third so last night uh, today's the 3rd of March 2022. I want to make sure I put the date out there. That I I had this um, vision, a dream, I'll say a dream, but it had a church. It was like a white chapel, like out in the country, like a, a beautiful white little chapel. And there was uh, steps leading up to the door, and two people were holding the door open. And there was this lady, I would say she's in her 60s, she had short blonde hair, and she was just smiling, you know, like, welcome, welcome, you know, just, just sweet kindness just oozed off of her. And I remember hearing, um, basically, that I'm going soon, got something to do first. And everything in me was telling me that was a, that was a Holy Spirit saying, you know, the Lord's coming soon. He's coming back for his church. He's coming to the church. But there's things that have to happen first. And it just, I was like, wow. I said, this is just exactly the way, you know, Revelation talks about. We talk, we, if you read through there, it's, it's, it's not really hard to understand if you, if you read the rest of the Bible. But Basically, if you're not a Christian, these things are going to happen before Christ returns for the church. And the church is the Christians. The Christians are going to go back in the rapture with him, be raptured from this world and raptured from tribulation. So I would just wanted to say that um, to be aware that God is aware, very much in control, very much aware of our concerns, but also to give us comfort and peace because he says, do not fear do not be afraid. He's with us. He will protect us. We will be out of here before the things get to where, um, I think, to the point to where you, the mark of the beast or you're going to be beheaded because we. I don't think, I'm a pre-tribber. I don't uh, think that we're going to go through tribulation. I think that we'll be raptured before that. 
but I did want to talk about the the missile and the and the and the uh, warriors, the Chinese warriors, and I, I want to put that out there now. So if something happens, it's it's ahead of time, and also a comfort to let everybody know that he loves us. He he is he know these things have to pass to fulfill God's word, and it will come to pass. But man is not going to stop this, and the only thing that can stop it is our Lord, right? So. I wanted to share that this with you. It's been a while, and, and just to give people encouragement um, of, of, of things of, of the United States. But we need to um, we need to turn back to the Lord. We need to do the things that He told us to do, and not to break the covenants. Uh, that was another video I did about covenants being broken. And um, basically, God knows what's going on right now. He He. He's allowing it to happen. I'm not saying that God's killing people. That's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is he is going to have his word come to pass. And these things will happen. Pestilence, we had that. You're going to have, we're going to have some major inflation. Uh, I don't think it's over yet. I think things are going to get extremely uh, more expensive. Additionally, I think there's going to be um, more pressure to be a one uh, be a globalist uh, to to con uh, all the countries of the wor world to come together in that one ideology. Um, I, it's setting the path for the Antichrist, which is to rule over those countries, and he he is a globalist. So this is just the birth pains, as we call it, as a Christian to. You know, we're seeing some of this stuff just like a woman's giving birth. You know, she, she starts having a little discomfort and a little bit of contractions. And then the contractions get harder. It's the same thing. It's, it's the same type of thing. We're feeling the, the very first parts of, of, uh, of, of, of that. So again, like I said, this is Katie J from Hope on High. I hope that you are blessed today by this message. Please share. Uh, leave comments. I... I um, I don't profess to be a prophet, a pastor, which I am not. I'm just Katie J. I'm just a person that God has asked and instructed and wants me to do these things for his name's sake, not for me. I don't get any money from this. I don't promote anything from this. This is strictly from my heart and the leading from the Holy Spirit. So please let's pray for one another. Lift each other up. Get involved in your local churches. Uh, help people, help the elderly, the, 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 the sick, um, volunteer, read your Bible, talk to people about the Lord, uh, you know, pray. Like I said, we need it. And uh, the Lord is well aware, and I just wanted you to have comfort today, especially from this last dream. I had such joy from that dream. I woke up, I felt so good. I had so much peace. It was unbelievable peace. And I think that the Lord is gracious that way because he knows that some of these dreams that I've had or visions, they're kind of heavy. You know, they're not, they're not little things when you talk about war and you're talking about, you know, these things coming um, to give us hope that he has his target on his bride, the church. And we will, we will meet him one day in the clouds and um, be raptured and be with him. But God bless you. Please, like I said, please... Um, subscribe and or give me comments and guidance and if any of you are having the same type of things um, please share and uh, god bless you and have a great day bye